hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be using the Lockley cutting machine for the very first time and i got the bundle set so this is what it looks like inside and if you haven't seen the unboxing video that i made go ahead and check it out i've linked it in icats above so the first thing you get is you get a box of weeding tools and i like the fact that they come in a like compact container and then obviously you can just screw it on top like i'm doing and then you have a complete four set weeding tool right it has the scraper um it has the like place to collect waste and then it's got two different hook types you've also got your instruction manuals of course you've got your standard mat that comes with the cutting machine and also if you get the bundle which is on sale you also get three extra mats so you get a light tack a standard tack and a heavy duty tack um, mat and then you get an extra spatula or scraper whatever you want to call it so in this case i actually have two of the standard tack mats just because i got the bundle and three came with the bundle and then one came with the machine with the machine you get the locklick heat transfer vinyl sample and then with the bundle you also get three rolls of vinyl so you get one um, heat transfer vinyl one adhesive vinyl and then one um one heat um transfer shit you get obviously your adapter and you get the blade set so we're gonna go ahead and start the machine hook it up and then let's get started guys just because you guys are absolutely amazing and i don't want you guys to miss out on the opportunity that is coming this machine normally retails for 245 pounds approximately however from the 5th of may which is today up until the 31st of may it's going to be retailing for 150 pounds yes that is literally almost a hundred pounds discount so i will advise that if you're looking to get a cutting machine now is the time so once you open up the machine you can see the blade compartment or the blade holder you have one that is called the that is labeled b for the blade and the other p for the pen and this is the pen that comes with it the pen has a brush tip and a fine tip which i really like today we're not going to use the pen however in the later video i will explore the pen so you go ahead and you know get the piece for the pen i put it in the pen compartment and then getting the blade one you want to go ahead and add the blade now this set comes with four blades right you get two of each blade type and it has an instruction manual which i'm just referring to so that i can connect the blade to the blade house okay so you take off the protective cover which is the red thing that you can see on the one i'm holding take it off and then connect that into the blade house and it's really easy once you slot it in it literally just locks secure and that's pretty much it i was checking to see if it was going to come out because i was actually surprised at how easy it was but it was literally just stick like stuck there so i added the blade house into the um part labeled blade and i just locked it in place and then i turned on the so the machine to turn on the cutting machine you want to give it a long press and that's what it you know that's how you turn it on so one thing I really like about the Locklick cutting machine is the fact that I find it very intuitive. It has the desktop version as well as the mobile version. And for this video, I entirely used the mobile version. So basically, I didn't go to my desktop at all. I did everything on my iPad. I went to the Apple Store. I downloaded the um, the software for it, the Locklick software. And then I went ahead to play around with it. So this was the first time I was using it. I found it very intuitive. As you can see, I went ahead to to put a text i had so many fonts to play with which is not bad like these are the fonts that come out of the box i didn't download any font at all i went ahead to resize it to what i want and the grid lines as you can see on the software are just one inch by one inch so i resized like the text which is my sister's name mimi to the size that i wanted and then i went to the library guys in the library you have over twelve thousand selection of images to choose from which in my opinion is insane you get that for free twelve 12,000 right so I went ahead to find a butterfly because that's kind of what she wanted and I went with this particular one that had three butterflies in one I played around with how I wanted it to look against the text and then just for my own visibility's sake I went ahead to change the color so it's darker now when I was happy with the design that I had done I went ahead to get my standard grip um cutting mat and then i went ahead to get the adhesive vinyl for the adhesive vinyl that i got i got a matte gold color which is a really lovely color again this is by lock lick lock lick 
everything i use in today's video is actually by Locklick. so basically i'm really impressed with the quality of the stuff like i said i got the um, matte gold adhesive vinyl so i went ahead to take it out cut it with my cutter and then i went ahead to place it on the um on the cutting mat now with the cutting mat i have to say that i found it really really tacky which is a good thing right however i found it a bit too tacky for the first use so i went ahead to you know put a t-shirt on it just to reduce the tack and then i went back to my ipad and i went ahead to send the design to the cutting mat when you're sending the design to the cutting mat it will ask you a couple of questions like the mat size the design size it would ask you what kind of material you're using and obviously when you select the material you're using it will pre-populate you know the cut depth and the cut cut duration and you know all those kind of things the pressure and this is what it looks like now one thing i did find is that when it's cutting it cuts like each design separately so this is it when it's cutting and guys i wish i really wish like i could let you guys hear the sound at how quiet it is right so maybe in the next video because in this one my sister, my friend, and I, we were all chatting in the background, so you really can't hear the machine. However, the machine is so, so, so quiet. From someone who used to use another cutting machine, this one is as quiet as it gets, and I am so pleased because my other cutting machine is so loud. It is so, so loud that it just annoys me, and this one, I love how quiet it is. Now, at this point, I was a bit skeptical to see what the cut was like, if it was going to be really fine, if weeding was going to be difficult. And guess what, guys? When it eventually finished cutting, you guys would even see for yourself. I was thoroughly impressed with the cut um, precision, with the effectiveness of it. After using this machine, my honest opinion is there are a couple of things that I consider pros for it and it's the fact that it's really, really quiet, guys. Honestly, I can't describe how quiet this machine is, but it is quiet. The second thing that I would consider a pro is the fact that it's absolutely affordable and like I said, even without the sale price, it retails at £245 at John Lewis and, you know, other authorized retailers however with the sale on the bundle that is on from the 5th of may 2024 to the 31st of may 2024 it is retailing for 150 pounds approximately which in my opinion is a steal once the cutting is all done, you guys know the drill. It's now time to weed. And I'll tell you when this was happening. Obviously, this voiceover is done after. I was a bit anxious to see what the cut was like, if it was going to weed nicely, because you guys all know weeding can be a mess. However, when I did it, this thing glided right over. As you guys can see, the cutting was smooth. The cutting depth and blade pressure was precise. I was absolutely impressed. It was at this point that I realized that I had picked a butterfly that had so many tiny cuts and I was like, who sent me? Now, for someone who has always done weeding and I never had like, you know, that little thing to put the waste in, this particular tool was, it came in absolutely handy. I literally just, you know, was taking out the waste and was just putting it in that um, little tool that came with the cutting machine. So of course, if you buy the bundle sets, you get the four piece tool that has the waste collector as well as the um, spatula or the scraper and then you also get like the different hooks so for me this is absolutely worth it so at this point i went ahead to weed and if you guys know me i find weeding very therapeutic however on this particular day i was just over it i was tired it was really late and i was just like can we be done with the weeding let me know in the comment section if you find weeding very therapeutic or you're not a fan of weeding anyway i went ahead to weed until the very end and this is what it looks like after all right guys if you haven't subscribed at this point please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the content that i have for you also so if you're looking to take advantage of the sale that is going on with Lolly cutting machine bundles, please go ahead and check out the description box. Now, guys, at this point, I took out the transfer paper that came with it. So it's Lolix brand transfer paper. And I will tell you that I was a bit worried. And that's because with transfer paper, it's either hit or miss. I've tried so many brands. I've tried the Cameo Silhouette. It was absolute rubbish. But when I use this one, the Lolic one, 
I was pleasantly surprised. This makes it the second transfer paper that I've ever used and I'm impressed with. The first one is the Tech Wrap Craft one. And then of course this one, the Lolic transfer paper. Really good quality. It sticks really nicely. And as you can see, I just place it on the um, deco. And then when I place it on the deco, I just like go over it with my squeegee just a few times. And you would see that it lifts up the design right off the um, vinyl sheet. Before lifting the design, I went ahead to clean the cup just with some alcohol and that's what you should do if you're going to place your deco on any surface. You want to make sure the surface is clean and free of debris. So this is what it looks like when it's on the transfer tape and again, like I said, I was still pleasantly surprised. However, this was the actual test of the transfer tape to see how it transfers onto the, um, the new surface. So obviously, it lifts off the vinyl sheet really nicely and then I went ahead to, you know, position the cup. I should have used the cup holder here guys but as you can see i don't have one inside so i went ahead to place the deco onto the cup and then give it a couple of um squeegees with my scraper and also with my finger just to smoothen it up and so that it had this on the surface it took a little bit of time it might be because the surface of the cup is a bit you know slippery and matte however i gave it a couple of minutes again went with my squeegee and then rubbed it with my fingers and after a couple of minutes it came Came off as you can see it just peels off um of course when you're peeling off your transfer paper you want to go ahead and peel it off at an angle i find that it helps it to stick and you know it helps it to stick until the surface better Once the transfer paper is all done, this is what it looks like. You want to go ahead and leave this cup to rest for about 48 hours. Don't wash it. Don't do anything. Just leave it to rest so that your decal sticks on it. And guys, that's pretty much it all done. So yes, everything we used in this tutorial came in the Lockley Cutting Bundle. And like I said, that bundle is currently on sale from the 5th of May to the 31st of May for the price of £150 approximately as opposed to the £245 it will normally come at. The, vid the link for the, um, for the machine at John Lewis can be found in the description box and make sure you check it out as well. Okay, so this is what the cup looks like. I really like the gold vinyl and the way it sits and reflects on the cup. I think that it's really pretty. And again, like I said, I used the adhesive vinyl from Locklick as well as the transfer tape from Locklick. This is what it looks like. I like the packaging. I really like the quality as well. So far, I have no complaints. I haven't tried the heat transfer vinyl. However, I will try it and let you guys know. Again, in my opinion, the four-piece tool set is all you need when you're weeding it has a hook and a, a curved hook and a straight hook and then you also get like where to put your weed waste and then you also get like a scraper to squeegee your design on and for me that is really nice you also get the extra scraper with the bundle set right don't forget that i mentioned that also like i said i really liked using the mat i thought like it was really good and the machine itself is great like i said i can't get over how quiet it is for me that is the best thing that came with the machine so yes i hope you enjoyed my honest review and if you're interested in getting one check out the link in the description box thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next week bye